Today, we will be cooking using the power of the Nissan Leaf right here in Goma at home. Hello everyone and welcome to Goma at home. Today, siguro kayo, how come I'm with someone here? Very good looking gentleman. His name is uh, Manuel Juan Manuel Hoyos. He's the president of Nissan Philippines. Welcome to Goma at Home. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Richard. And the, you know the reason why uh, we have uh, Mr. Hoyos here is because we want to show you how we are going to cook today using the power of the Nissan Leaf. The Nissan Leaf is an electric vehicle from Nissan, and uh, Juan Manuel Hoyos will tell us more about this Nissan Leaf. So thank you, thank you first for, for having us also prove what is the Nissan Leaf. We have been in the electric business for a long time as Nissan. Yes. We were actually, our first uh, electric vehicle was 1946. It was the, the Tama. And now we were also pioneering with the Leaf. 1946 was right after the war. As early as that, Nissan was already uh, engineering yeah. an electric vehicle. Yes, and always Nissan Leaf, for instance, is our first uh, mass-produced car worldwide, any other brand. So when other was thinking what we should do, yes. Nissan, we were already doing it. And this huh? was the first one. So we launched it last year in Philippines, yes. also the first a brand that launched an electric vehicle in the Philippines yes. and is uh, today is the leader in the market. So this is our, our, our option for the electric vehicles and it has been very well accepted by the Philippine market. You know, one thing I'd like to tell the people is that in the Philippines, one of the incentives that you get if you use an e-vehicle uh, e is that wala kayong color coding dito sa, sa, lalo na sa Metro Manila, you know. The biggest, uh, uh, largest density of people in the country is right here in Metro Manila. So if you use an e-vehicle, especially the Nissan Leaf, wala kong huli yan sa MMDA. That is under Philippine law. Yes. And today, we are going to uh, power all our uh, electrical equipment here using the, the Nissan Leaf, especially our cooking equipment, not this one. Ito mga lights natin, i-connect natin dito sa Nissan Leaf. So from this outlet, it goes to power mover. It's a... Like a small EV power station yeah. that works to uh, transform the energy from the, the vehicle and bring it to uh, the volts that you need to cook. Right, so we have a uh, setup converter and then ito yung saksaka niya. And then we are going to cook paella today. Sad, because Mr. Hoyos has a very important meeting. He won't be joining us eating our paella. So tayo tayo ang kakain dito while they move out to their own meeting. But, uh, you know, during Odette, now when we got hit by Odette here, Nissan brought their car dito sa Southern Leyte. Nung walang kuryente, ito yung ginamit nila to charge their cell phones. So, kita nyo yung power ng kotse, ginagamit natin para pang charge ng cell phone, pwede pang ilaw, pwede natin pang luto. So, fantastic. What a, what a fantastic vehicle you have. Yes, we have very committed. I think our ambition 2030 is we are part of our ambition to get to carbon neutral. We yes. have that one and we, part of that is also, we know that Philippines is number one in terms of the uh, countries that could be affected by climate change. Yes. So, we are oh, part... Especially in this part of country, of the Philippines, we're frequently visited by uh, disaster, by uh, typhoons. And Correct. Every Correct. year it gets stronger stronger so exactly because of that i think that we have this we know that we can in, in case of an emergency yeah. and this was the emergency it was a dead so we then we sent the, the leaf and we sent the power mover right. and people who were in the emergency there was no energy they can use to charge their phones and just communicate with the family with oh, nice. the relatives saying i'm okay this is what is happening so there was more and more people just coming to connect their cell phones and we have done it also <laughs> in japan but different situation but also if this is also a different situation in terms of disaster in Japan it was very curious because there was a, a farmers yeah and there was the cows they, if they're not milk yes they, they can die ah really so ah. we have this one and we connect over oversupply of milk yes huh? 
So we use that to milk the cows. Oh. The farmers use it. So it's different ways of usage. So we are partnering with different stakeholders. We have a Blue Switch initiative. And this is what we want to do always, that we can help with the EVs to prevent or to uh, assist in case of a disaster. And we are so uh, happy because uh, last night we had uh, a Christmas tree lighting ceremony right here in uh, Ormoc City. And our Christmas light was powered by the Nissan Leaf e vehicle. Thank you so much. It was such a hit. It was such a wonderful uh, celebration last night. Yes, we wanted to be part of that because we, we know how important is Christmas for the Filipinos. It's yes. a moment of joy. It's a moment of gathering. And no better way to do it than with the Leaf, just to be part of that feeling and that uh, atmosphere. And Nissan can be a perfect partner for Mok, you know why? Because we host uh, the biggest geothermal power plant in the country. So study shows that uh, in Ormoc City, uh, we have one of the lowest uh, greenhouse gas emissions all over the country. Yeah, okay. so your, your Nissan Leaf e-vehicle is perfect for Ormoc City. I, I think so. And also, I know that all the, the government also is launching the EVIDA law, which yes. also has the benefits, but also all the government, they have to have 5% of the fleets with electric vehicles. Yes. So we know that more and more, the trend will go up. And we have this one and we have also the Kixi power. For the people who has range anxiety, yeah. we also have another vehicle who has also electric motor driven. So we have a full, a full portfolio of solutions to help to drive the change around all the Philippines. Wonderful. So that, that's the future of the Philippines and that's the future of uh, Nissan. So thank you so much for, thank you so much for, thank you, Richard. for joining me in, in the show. I'm crying because I will not be able to taste. It looks just amazing how you prepare just with the ingredients. <laughs> I, I'm just feeling sad that I have to leave. But thank you, thank you for having me here. We'll, we'll, we'll give you stories about this. <laughs> yes, yes. Please. Then next time, if you have time, stay with us. Stay longer in our mock. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. More power to you. All the best to Nissan. Thank you, Richard. Thank, thank you. you. Hello and welcome to Goma at Home again. Uh, so, nakita niyo yung uh, kasama natin kanina dito. Si Juan Manuel Hoyos, no? Pinakita tong uh, leaf. So, everything here is being powered now by, by uh, the Nissan Leaf power ng kuryente, ah, ng kuryente ng galing sa kotse, yun ang gagamitin natin dito sa episode natin. Okay? So, today we're preparing uh, lobster paella. Okay? And uh, simulan natin to by uh, making our our stock using the lobster heads. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, i-dismantle muna natin yung, uh, yung ulo ng, uh, ng lobster. No? Tatanggal natin. It's very, it, it's a spiny kind of uh, lobster that's locally available dito sa, sa market namin sa Ormoc. Yeah. So, iikot mo na siya na ganun. And then, nahihiwalay mo na yung, yung body tsaka yung, yung head niya. See, just like that, you separate the, the, the tail and then, then, then the head. Ganun lang. So, we'll be using uh, itong uh, yung, yung head niya para pang stock natin. No? Mm-hmm, metal chick. Very juicy, ah, ganun, ha? Ang gali. Ganun pala, ha? Wow, look at that. So, yung, yung extra meat ng, ng uh, head ng uh, lobster, magagamit pa natin yan sa cooking natin mamaya. So, get some garlic. Okay. Onions. Celery. Alright. Celery. Sama na natin pati ano. Pati yung dahon niya. It will be part of our uh, stock. We'll uh, turn on our um, electric stove. Turn it on. I'll... Uh, we're using free electricity care of uh, Nissan Leaf. So we'll put in some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Yung mga pinutol natin ng mga ulo kanina. We're going to cook this. Huh? Galing eh. Margin, nakakaluto tayo. Kuryente, ginagamit natin, galing sa kotse. So the perfect car para mag-picnic. No? Doing this with you anywhere. Meron kang lulutuan. You can park anywhere and enjoy cooking your food. Woo! Nice. Bigtan natin. 
good. We'll heat some some water. Saffron. Tingnan na natin ganito. Boosin natin sa lalagyan. Our uh, lobster heads are roasting well. Tatabi ko muna ito dito. And then, tagawin ko muna yung base ng stock natin. Wow, beauty. I'll get the onions first. And then, put in the celery and garlic. There. Let's mix this. Okay. Hindi lang. Ano ganyan to put in? It's salt. Kasi mamaya natin i-babalance yung uh, salt natin pag uh, nasa paya na. Okay. Tinose natin na uh, head ng lobster. So we let it, uh, <coughs> let it boil. This are stock. Nice. I close this. We let it boil. Diyan lang siya. So first, for our paella, ito na yung onions natin. This one to be very thin. Just chop it. Okay, then next, garlic. Stocks can be long. Wow, kumukulo na siya. Ang bago. Okay. So yung flavors yan, nandiyan na lahat. Ito na yung stock natin. Yan, nice. Beautiful. If you get the head of the lobsters, since luto na siya, yung meat niya, pwede mo siyang scrape off dito. Ano, scrape off mo yung meat. No? And then, kasama siya sa stock. Gusto kong i-separate yung yung meat natin from the tail. No? So what I'll do is, ilalagay ko siya dito para maluto yung meat niya. And then, I'll be able to separate it faster and easier. I'll cook it long enough na yung mag maluto lang ng konti yung meat and then to be able to easily uh, separate it. No? I will separate the tail. Then, then lang. And then, from here on, you can put it out already. And then, lagi natin yung itunga natin siya. Tunga, one for that one, and one for the other. Yun. Okay. Let it cook. And then, higyan natin ng tomato. Tomatoes here. There. Equal na. Hmm, sweet pimiento. Good. It will bring out a lot of uh, smokiness. A lot of flavor sa paya natin. Put some uh, some salt. Salt, there you go. Okay. We'll put some pepper here. Remember, pag lagay ng rice dito, hindi mo kailang marami. Konti lang. Just like that. There. Konti lang. We'll mix it. And then, ang secret sa masarap na paella, it's what they call yung tostado. Sa ilalim, yung sokarat. No? Okay. Saffron at all. Let's mix my saffron. Mm. I'm putting the saffron there. Wow, beautiful. Lobster natin. This is what we're going to put on top of the paella. I can stop. Boil. 
Boden. So what I did was to kasi malit yung ano niya yung heating element niya. Nag-heat ako dun sa barbecue area natin para mas malaki yung, yung fire. And then just for the purpose na gumawa tayo ng sokarat. Yung uh, tutong. So ngayon, kaya tayo. Ang galing natin siya. You can see how beautiful it is. Tapos ba ito yung fresh parsley. Nabila, ganun dyan. So here's our lobster paella by the beach. Yum. First thing, close this uh, lobster paella. Yeah, Saffron, try mo. Ito saffron and the pimiento. So good. Mm. And then, yung charring from the tutong. Perfect. So, this is our Christmas lobster paella for everyone. Do this in your own kitchen. Enjoy with your friends. If you have the chance, cook it in your next stove using the need some beef. So this is our Christmas presentation for you guys. Pass a Christmas up or raffle the manat. Leave. I can raffle that. In the food in some car. And so thank you for joining me right here at Gawa at home. Um, happy birthday, Finelson. Yes, happy birthday also to, to Lucy. Na ang ako birthday niya lang. And uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. I'll see you again right here in Gawa at home. Goodbye.